you can be seated. The children can come forward for the children's message. Come on up, guys. Good morning. So, you guys know what a staring contest is? Excellent. Did you know that I'm good at it? We're going to try it. I have my little book. I'm going to stare at you, and every time you blink, I'm going to check it down. Ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a challenge here. I think your eyes are getting tired, though. No, he says. I believe him, too. Uh-oh. This went better last night, I'll tell you that. Neither one of us has blinked yet. This is good. This could take an hour, folks. Is that okay? Did he blink? I didn't see it. I blinked. I blinked. Okay, that's awesome. Very good. You got a skill there, Mom. Did you know him? You start training him up at home. Okay, you ready to say my thing? You know what happened last night? There were no children, so I did this with the adults, and they were terrible at it. <laughs> oh, there's one. Okay, okay. So imagine this. Uh, some people, we were blinking, which isn't really wrong to do, right? But some people have a little book, and they run around looking for other people's sins. And every time they do it, they sort of think it. They might not literally write down a thing in their head. They sin, or she sinned. You know such people? Right? They're always looking for other people to stumble and fall. And they say, I caught you. I'm going to put it in my book. Does that sound nice to do? Not so much, right? Sin is whenever we do things against God's will, and some people are always looking at other people, saying, I'm going to write that down, and I'm going to keep that one, and I'm going to store it in my memory, and I'm going to keep it in my heart. Jesus said what in the gospel lesson? He said, forgive your brother and your sister, right? I love the passage where Peter says, Lord, I'm willing to forgive my brother seven times. And I think he was patting himself on the back. Like, I'm a pretty big guy. I can forgive my brother seven times. And what did Jesus say? Forgive him 77 times. Now, do you think that Jesus meant to take out a book and on number 78, I don't have to forgive him anymore? Yeah, no, it wasn't about the 78. Jesus was saying, don't keep track at all, right? We're not supposed to be carrying on a book keeping track of other people's sins. One of the problems is, if I'm watching your sins, you know what I'm not paying attention to? My own, right? Exactly. Very good. My own, because you were saying it over here. I blame first, right? That could be. So it's not your sins. I should be thinking about mine, knowing that God forgives me, and because He forgives me, we forgive each other, right? The love of Christ is supposed to express itself in that way, not to keep track, but to forgive people as I've been forgiven, right? Thanks for coming up, guys.